Okay. Yeah. Phil, you've brought you along to yeah. look at what installing a charge for my new EV vehicle. Yeah. And I, I wonder, because I live in a rented property, yeah. um, I'm wondering to see how you can install it sure. uh, with a view to me taking it away with me when I leave. Uh, so. Yeah, no, no problem, absolutely. Well, well the, like the, uh, the vehicle's here, yeah. and you know, the main fuse box is through the window there. Okay. Okay, and yes. then we can come along, yeah, and obviously we'll get the power to the electric car yes, where it I, is. I, I need to um, need to look at the consumer unit. Uh, come along, to, yeah. come, come along in, and I'll come show you. In, yeah. So the, they're in here. Yeah. And that's the main. Okay. Yeah, switch. Thank you. And the car is literally out there through that window. Over oh, there. That's great. Yeah, the other that's issue we've got is the landlord doesn't want to suck on the side of the house or any holes yes. in the house. So that's the other issue. What I could do then for that is um, is take the cable uh, away from the house in a trench and put a put a put a post in the ground. Okay. Away from the house. Okay. And fix it. So I'll show you where the power comes yeah, in yes, on the outside. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, thank yep. you. So that's the main, that's the, uh, uh, main that's PowerPoint. The cabinet. Okay, so I just need to check, uh, make sure the main fuse, um, what size main, what size main fuse you've got. Uh, you've got an 80 amp main fuse. What I can do is I can put a secondary consumer unit yeah. next outside of this box. Okay. Yeah, and, and then take the cable. Round to the car. Uh, around, yeah, around, in, in the trench, around to the, around to the charging point. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, we were hoping to possibly put it in here. The landlord came round and advised us yesterday that down here is where all the drainage is. So he's suggesting that we actually put it over here in the garden and then run the cable to the front of the, the car. So what I'm going to do is prepare the ground um, ready for the electrician to come. That's me having dug the trench and Phil's gonna run, put an outside unit on here, just below the power su supply. And that's gonna run along here, this trench I've just dug and keeping away from all the pipes and things that are buried underneath and where we've got the crowbar here will hopefully be roughly where the post goes in but we'll see what phil has to say when he arrives yeah i can screw it to the floor if you like yeah brilliant uh, brilliant uh, just and then i can sort of yeah cable tie the fine cable down that pipe. Yeah. yeah it's only temporary and you know as i say when we go we'll give you a yeah, shot and you take just, it out just look, well please go fine. ahead yeah, yeah and fine, uh, you, yeah. i'll leave you to it would you like a coffee I would love one, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So how many of these have you done? I've probably done about, oh, I was probably close to 300 now. Wow. Yeah. And, and uh, where, in people's homes? Yeah, main, or? Main, mainly in domestic properties, mainly in households, but yeah. some, some commercial. Yeah, yeah. And some um, like B&Bs, hotels. But mainly, yeah, mainly residential. Yeah, no, very good. Um, they've changed the grant now from it used to be private house owners were eligible for the grant, but now they've changed it so it's uh, only available to, to landlords or people living people, in the, yeah, living, living in rented accommodation. Rented accommodation. That's what we qualified. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. I actually think charging at home makes absolute sense. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, when I look at charges outside, some of them as much mm -hmm. as 67 p a kilowatt hour. Yeah, yeah. And whereas here, I think we're currently paying 27 p a kilowatt hour. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you, you know, if we can go to Octopus Go, and then that's why I'd like to get a battery, because you can then buy your electricity at seven and a half p a kilowatt yeah. hour at night, and that helps that's the grid and helps everyone. You know, a car sends most of its time parked in your house or whatever so mm -hmm. speed's not the issue well, yeah. it's interesting looking at the Kia manual it was saying 
um, use AC charging, slower rate, it gives you better battery life. They were saying if you use DC charging rapid, it reduces the it battery. Can, it can, yes, it, it, it can degrade the battery charging it too fast because it creates a lot of excess heat. Yeah, so yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's better to just to, to sort of trickle charge batteries. Yeah, so work. doing it at home yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And you can set the car so that you know you know you want to go out at seven in the morning, yeah. and it will charge through the night and make sure you've got the charge you want in it. The other day, I set the car to fifty percent charge. Yeah. I used a three-pin plug. I set it. You can set it to 12 amps, 10 amps, 8 amps or 6 amps. Yeah. I set it to 10 amps because I thought it was just below the 13. Yeah. And it was, you know, I, I put 90 miles in it overnight. And you it's know. ready to, it's charged ready for you to use in the morning. Yeah, I think the difference with electric, electric cars is electricity is everywhere. You know, yeah, so you don't have to go to a petrol pump. You don't have to go and pay huge sums like some of these charges. And really, when you go to these charges, it's the exception. And that's because you're on a long journey, you know, as opposed to running around locally. That's it, is it? That's it, uh, yeah, complete. Uh, yeah, I've tested it, I have tested it, uh, but you can you can test it now on your- And the plug it your, in the car. car. So for me to charge the car now, what have I yeah. got to do? Take the, take the plug from here, and put it in the car, is that right? Yeah, simple as that. Take, take the top, yeah, take the top cap off. Uh, and that's it. Just, um, I'm it out the holster, yeah. yeah. And then plug it in the car. Yeah. And that's it. And I can see the lights are coming on to the side there. The lights all chained on the, on the wall box to, to purple. Oh yeah, around the outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll flash. It's charging. And then the other thing I can do is just come in and, and yeah. have a look on here. Because I've set it to take it up to 60%. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. And then it'll stop. So it says one hour, 15 minutes. Yeah. And it's charging it, it, it's a good 7.2. Yeah, it's a good idea as well to charge the charge it to 80% maximum. Yeah. Along the ba battery life. Yeah. I read that in the manual. Between, keep it between 20 and 80. 20 and for 80, lo local yeah. running. Yeah. If you do a long run, it, take it up to 100 if you want, but just yeah. for the long run. It's fine to charge it to 100, but. Yeah. Um, and you shouldn't really leave it fully charged as well yeah. for prolonged periods on a little yeah. one battery. Yeah. Well, I, I made the decision. Yeah. Keep it between 20 and 80, yeah. you know, for the local runs. And then, yeah, if I'm going to go on a long yeah, run, long distance, yeah. you know, I can charge it the night before, ready for seven o'clock in the morning or yeah, exactly. whatever. Brilliant. Um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely vehicle. You happy with it? Yeah, it's, I'm still learning really um, yeah. on the whole thing. And, uh, but no, it's, it's been good. Um, what's really reassuring is, mm. Um, last night we had my brother here and yeah. his friend Ian, and Ian's onto his fourth electric vehicle. All oh, right, really. And he's just ordered one of these, so he really? he came round, um, and it poured as rain. So he and his yeah. wife, who hadn't seen it, <laughs> was inside there, and he's explaining to her and everything else. Yeah, uh, yeah. fantastic. Tested the charging point and not issue a certificate now. And um, great. Thank you very much. That's okay. Yeah, brilliant.